Inside this video right here, you're gonna learn the exact medical terminology you need to know inside of EMT and Paramax School. If you know this one thing I'm gonna share with you, then you will know medical terminology cold. Let's dive into it. Hey everyone, this is the Paramedic Coach back here with another video. Inside this video, we're gonna talk about exactly the steps and the tips I can give you for medical terminology. Now, what does this mean, okay? First off, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below. This channel is everything EMT and paramedic related. So first we're gonna start with simple, simple front and back. So we go the front and the back. So we're talking about the human body. So the first way of saying front is going to be anterior, anterior, like an ant, anterior. Now, how are you gonna remember anterior is front and posterior is back? Let me explain. So A comes before P. So when you go up to somebody and you walk up to somebody, right? You show the front of your body first, not the back of your body. So I walk and approach you, nice to meet you, then I'm gonna show you the front of my body. So that is going to be how you remember the anterior, is A is first, the front of my body is first. Anterior is front. The back, posterior. So the back is P for posterior. So A in the alphabet comes first, then P is later on. The other way you can remember it is, hey, front and back is kinda of like A and P. So anterior and posterior. So there's many ways to remember that. Anterior, front, posterior, back. So now we're gonna move on to the next, the next way of saying front and back. Now, depending on where you're talking about in the body, something could be called anterior, posterior, or could be called, depending on the organ, or depending on the location of the body, it could be called ventral or dorsal, depending on where you're looking. So let me explain this to you. How do you remember that ventral is front and dorsal is back? Well, think about a dolphin. A dolphin on its back has a dorsal fin on its back. Ventral, the way you can remember it is, how do you say window in Spanish? Ventana, right? So when we talk about that, the window, the, the eyes, are the eyes into someone's soul. The eyes of the window into someone's soul, they say, okay? So, the front, I can see your eyes in the front of your body. That's your ventral with the V for Vantana, the eyes, window of the soul. There it is. Now we know front and back. So front can mean anterior, front can mean ventral. Back, posterior, or dorsal, depending on where we look in the body. Is that fair? Okay, great. So now let's talk about some other things. Let's talk about up and down. Let's talk about up and down. So here's how you remember up and down. So above is superior. Up, superior. Down, bottom is inferior, okay? So if I say this pen right here, here's a pen. If I say this pen right here is the most superior pen in the world, it should be placed up in the heaven. It should be placed high in the sky on a, it should be placed in a pedestal. It's such a great pen, right? It's a superior pen. It's a great pen. Put it up. Put it up on the shelf. Inferior pen, I'm going to put it in the garbage. If this pen's inferior. I'm going to throw it in the garbage. I'm going to throw it on the ground. It's garbage. I'm going to put it in the garbage. And the bottom of the garbage is next to the ground. Okay? Make sense? Superior above, inferior down. Okay? So now, if you just know that going into EMT school, you're already ahead of the game. Now, what else? There's a word called lateral. So lateral means on the side of something. So lateral just means on the side. So I'm talking about my, the, la the lateral thigh, it's in the side of my thigh, okay? So lateral means the side. What else? Another one I'm gonna give you, there's proximal and distal. Oh, whoa, proximal and distal. Okay, that sounds crazy. Now let me explain this one to you. So first I'm gonna explain what it is, okay? Let's do that. So here 
up here and here is what they call the humoral head. Okay? My humoral head is up here, okay? My hand is over here, down here. So I would say, in, in plain English, I'd say, my humoral head is up here, and my hand is down here. In medicine, I would say, the humoral head is proximal to the hand. Or the opposite, I would say, bear with me here, the hand is distal to the humoral head. So what does that mean? Whatever is above something is proximal to it. Whatever is, dor whatever is distal, whatever is distal to that is going to be below that. Okay? Whatever distal to something is below that. So I'll say it again. My humoral head, which is right here, okay? My humoral head right here is proximal to my hand. My hand is distal to my humoral head. Okay? So I would say my knee is proximal to my foot. My foot is distal to my knee. Fair? That's up. Now, if we know that, you're going to be in pretty good shape. You're going to be in pretty good shape. Those are the, that's, the main, that's the main language. That's the main language. Okay? So, for example, right, now that we know all this, if I was reading an EKG and I'm looking at all the views in the heart for a 12 lead EKG, there's a lateral view of the heart, there's an inferior view of the heart. There's a septal view of the heart. There's an anterior view of the heart. There's a posterior view of the heart, right? So, see, now we know. Okay, so if, if you're telling me that the EKG is looking at the posterior of the heart, that that view of the EKG is looking at the back of the heart. Oh, wow. Wait, so you're telling me that if it's a lateral, it's looking at the sides. You're telling me anterior is the front, inferior is the bottom. Oh, wow. See? And by the way, if you're a new EMT, if you're a new paramedic, uh, we have a program that we help people out with two main things. Passing school on easy mode, okay, the easy way, and passing your NREMT boards on easy mode, right? So the program in the link is down below. You'll see either to the left or the right of me here. You'll see kind of a flip through of what the inside of the course looks like and the modules and stuff like that. So. Uh, click the link down below to get access. You can get lifetime access right now. So I click the link down below to get access to that. And everyone, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and I will see you next time.